Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Powell here again, welcome to my studio. Today we're going to review VX4 Remote by Flipsky. So, inside the box, which is quite nice to be fair, it's a cardboard box with a Flipsky logo on it, you do get, for starters, the manual. It tells you exactly what to expect for the remote, what the options are, what to see on the screen, yada bloody. It's quite nice to have, why not? You're also going to get some cables. By the way, when you order it, make sure you do mention what kind of EC you're going to use it for. I've got VESC-6 uh, based EC, so I've got this cable right here. You will also get uh, the cable for the firmware upgrade and also for the charging, which is quite nice. You do also get the PPM remote, you do get the so that's the receiver. This is what's going to go inside your uh, EC enclosure and this is going to get plugged in via this cable right here into your EC. In By the way, you can use this remote for PPM or you can use it as UART, which is cable right here, or you can use it a weird way so you can have it PPM for the actual board control and then you can use it UART for the uh, information for the screen. So it's up to you. So that's quite nice touch from Flipsky to be fair because you can use any signal uh, transfer uh, channels you uh, wish. And here it is, that's the remote itself. Well, let's start from there. You got three options here. You got uh, high, low, and medium. That's the response of the actual remote. So how fast the board will respond to your uh, thumb. So you can set this up as default to high, medium, or low. Well, I am about 30 steps away from the board now. Still working fine. Well, happy with that. Don't need to test any further. <laughs> 